Uh, hi everyone and welcome to My Story Short. So we have Cara Henderson with us today. How are you doing, Cara? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me. No problem, thanks for joining us. So, some weekend you've had, opening day of the season against Dundee United and you're going to get yourself a hat-trick. Is that, uh, was that the aim going into the game or is that more <laughs> what you're thinking? <laughs> um, I mean, definitely, obviously, um, I've just moved to striker, so I was sort of thinking, you know, I definitely want to start the league off with a goal at least. Um, and when we went down to 10 men, I sort of thought maybe one is all I'll get today, but absolutely delighted to get the hat-trick in the end. Um, not the prettiest of hat-tricks, but still, I'll take it. It's my first ever senior hat-trick, so I was absolutely delighted. It was such a good way to start off. That's, uh, that's a sign of a good striker. It's all about the, how many you score, not about how many worries you score. So, no, nah, that means no count at the same at the end of the season. Um, so, exactly. you've just you've just moved to, to striker. How are you, how are you finding the, the adjustment? Obviously, you're finding it well and getting yourself in the right position. <laughs> but is it something you've had to work on over the summer? Yeah, um, I sort of played a couple of games at the tail end of last year up front and I really enjoyed it. I thought um, there was definitely potential for me to play there and um, there's nobody really better to learn off of than Brian. Um, you know, he's he's done it for so long, he's so good at it. Um, so talked to him a lot about it during pre-season, him and Ross have worked with me. Actually, the girls have been really good with me as well. You know, a lot of them just sort of giving me tips here and there. And I, I really enjoyed it on Sunday and um, I'm looking forward to just sticking at it and then... Um, you know, really try to help the team the best I can up there. Uh, it must be really beneficial having somebody like Brian to to lean on with his his experience and still still doing it now um, at this stage in his career. But just having his know how and his knowledge and and learning off of that, and then you can and integrate that into your own game. Uh, exactly. Um, you know, we were lucky enough to be able to watch quite a lot of the men's games last year. And, the way he, you know, finds space in the box and manages to sort of get free is, is exactly the sort of expertise that is so good for me to be able to learn and watch and, and train and just little, you know, tips and hints here and there. Um, so I definitely think he's probably the best person to to teach me right now and um, we'll have a little goal contest this season and see how it ends up out on top. <laughs> now he's had a fantastic season last year. Um, I'm sure pushing for top six was an aim for the club. But actually fulfilling that, um, is that the same expectations this season? You're maybe under a little bit more pressure because you've been there and done it now. Um, there's going to be expectations from yourselves, from supporters, uh, to to try and emulate that. Yeah, exactly. I think um, I think you know we'd be disappointed if we didn't get top six again. I think that has to be a sort of minimum. Um, for us to sort of look at, uh, you know, it's going to be really tough. All the teams round about. Um, are very very strong no game is easy at all in the league so it's going to be really tough but you know I think we've got a really good squad of girls that all are hungry to get top six again and I think we can also look at this season you know with the top six experience last year we can take that and sort of see how we can test ourselves against the top teams again this year as well Um, because you know the, the experience of top six last year is invaluable so definitely looking to emulate it again and see if we can even go one better. Yeah, that success breeds success, and you've got that hunger and desire to to get to get yourselves there again. Um, so you've got game coming up this weekend. How the how the preparations going for that? Obviously, you come off the back of a a very convincing win, but it's to make sure that you don't rest in your laurels and and continue to to push yourselves. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, Sunday was difficult. Um, for a lot of reasons, you know, Dundee are a very physical side. Um. And even going down to 10 men, you know, we had to dig really deep to end up getting the results. So it's a completely different game, you know, this weekend playing Glasgow City. Champions, such a difficult team to play against, but girls were really in a good mood this week in training and we're going to try our best to, to, you know, bring the game to Glasgow City because in these games, you know, it's an excellent opportunity to test yourself and test us against the best players in the league. And that's exactly what what you're wanting. You want to test yourself against the the best. You don't want to shy away from it. That's why you you want to play in the top league. You want to play in the big games and and try and try and get get a point or get a win and co- cause an upset. Exactly. That was you know last year we came close to Celtic and Glasgow City. Um, you know I think it was two one the both results and although they were disappointing, you know it shows that we can be competitive in those games and we can sort of put our mark on these teams and. 
I think if anything, that's exactly why top six, you want to be in the top six. You want to be playing against the best teams in the country. You want to be testing yourself, you know, week in, week out. And hopefully the experience of that this year, we can bring into these games like Sunday and, you know, see where we're at. So off the back of your, your hat-trick in the opening game, what are your own personal goals uh, for, for this season? Um, For this season, I think definitely, you know, personally, I would like to, sort of better my stats from last year. So more goals, more assists in the best way I can. Um, and then obviously help the team out. It's a different position. So helping the team out as much as I can at the top end of the park and helping us, you know, get top six again. And um, yeah, I think that's definitely my goals and to just keep working hard and, you know, progress to a point where hopefully um, I've had a big part to play this season. Brilliant, Cara. So thanks so much for joining us. Uh, it's been a pleasure and we'll keep an eye on your progress and Partick's progress throughout the season. And thank you everyone for joining us on SWPL My Story Short. Thank you.